Okay, hello guys, this is Romy and in this episode I'm going to show you or to explain the basic concept of our new series here which is a Photon Unity Networking with uh, Playmaker. So how to create a multiplayer games uh, using uh, Photon Unity Networking add-ons and uh, with the uh, extension or actions, custom actions uh, uh, in Playmaker. Okay, so let's get started. So basically with Photon uh, the, uh, you will need to connect to their server or if you want to create your own server you can just host a server but you will need to run the SDK from them uh, honestly I haven't tried to create a custom server but I've already tried uh, connecting to their cloud and it's working uh, great so this is the basic concept this is the Photon Unity Network server and then this is a a client PC so let's say this is the player A and this is player B right and both of them are connecting to the server and both of them are automatically connected to the lobby before we co we can create a rooms and join joining a, a room we have to connect to the lobby of that game app and that game app will be defined later uh, with an app idea so uh, app ID so you will have to register to the photon engine websites and you will get a account and an app ID and you can add app ID as many as possible uh, for each game that you uh, created okay so and let's say the player A or the first computer created a room and then after he created the room, the other client, the client B, are joined that room. And all of the game object, uh, when 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 we created the room, the we will automatically spawn our player in that scene, right? And each of this player will have a unique idea assigned by the Photon Unity Network, uh, the Photon Engine, and we need to create two states two different states uh, on the player movement or controlling the player so for example we are going to check uh, w if that character or that game object is our player we are going to check is it mine if it's yes then we are going to go the first state and we are going to control the player using the usual actions that you use to move players and to rotate and stuff and then at the same time we will send the transform over the net network so if you need to send the position the rotation and anything else send it over here and then for example if the player B joined the room right in this client uh, the player B I mean the character the game object will be tagged as the uh, as the uh, uh, pl uh, the character or the avatar of this player so it will access the first state but it will also get spawned in this PC the player from the player B, the avatar so in this PC it will uh, receive a different idea and it will get flagged that it wasn't uh, belong to this player so it will uh, send the no event under is it mine here so it will go to the second state and on the second state the other player will receive transform from the client source so the let's say the client B will be sending the transform over the network and uh, his avatar on the other PC will receive that data and after that we will need to update uh, the position or the transform a uh, position rotation and stuff uh, anything that you send you will need to update it here so it will moves uh, so the the player in the client A will see a visual feedback of his uh, maybe friends or enemies so we will need to do that so basically uh, we will need to create two states uh, handling uh, is is the the game object belongs to the player or is it the, that game object is actually belong to another player on the other side of the client and we need to set up uh, our new project so as usual you will need to import uh, to create a new 3d projects and import your playmaker and after that you will need to import this uh, photo networking plugin but I've used this one not this one because this is only the 
actions but without the photon unity networking so i'm uh, so you should download this one the playmaker p u n dot unity package and for the ui i've download this ui a UGY proxy with full set of actions and you, you are going to need use this one and you need to join the photon so you you can just uh, register sign in and you will uh, get a application ID and this is your default apps name your app but you can create a new app and if you create a new app you will receive a different ID so just take note of this ID and later you will need to input this to your photon settings in unity so that is basically what you need to do in order to set up your project and in the next episode we are going to start uh, dealing in in unity side so uh, I'll see you on the next episode thanks for watching if you like this please subscribe and please donate it really I really appreciate any donation it means a lot uh, it, it will help me to create a more better quality content and more frequent tutorials okay I see you on the next episode bye